What's poppin' guys? It's your boy Tonic Productions here. I'm gonna start this new thing on the channel where every Tuesday I upload a video where we're deconstructing a loop. So in this case, we're gonna be deconstructing this loop that I made for a Travis Scott type beat that I'll be showing you later. So we'll get more into detail. <clears throat> Obviously this is the final sample. I also reverse it over here because that's what you can do as well. We'll go through all of it first. To begin, I started with, again, right down here, packs. You go to instruments, you go to guitars, and in this case I use strat position A over here. And I didn't know what beat I was going for, so I just started putting chords down like this. I thought it sounded good, but I wanted to see what else I could do to it. So first things first, I wanted to add a little bit of movement. Now, it was a good pattern. I'll keep playing it on loop so you can hear what I'm doing. I added a flanger to add movement to it. And I used Trance 2, that setting there. It gives it like a really wobbly effect. Next thing I added was a stereo enhancer. Just make it sound a bit wider. Not too much, but just like a nice little balance. Now, next thing is actually a plugin that my boy Azure gave me. Shout out to Azure, go check out his YouTube channel. Um, it's called Halftime. Now, what essentially is, is a gross beat, the half speed, but you can manipulate it better. Essentially, I just did the half speed setting, and this is what that sounds like. I added a patcher. Now what this does is it allows, is it gives a high hand. I'll show you without and then with. So without, with. I just use the uh, the one knob crusher. I have a bit of an EQ just to take a bit of the low. Jesus, look at this. What the hell is going on there? A little bit uh, of the low end out. The preset I used was just the radio preset, and I moved the things according to my liking. I wanted some bass frequencies, but it didn't really matter because I wanted to use like a subby 808, like the OFB beat I made. And then I just used the reverb just to make it wider. All right. Next thing I added, let me just put these patterns down so I can play them all together. I wanted something to go with the melody. So originally we have the guitar here i wanted something to be in the higher frequencies this is what i added make sure the effects are off All right just a little bit of stuff bouncing around now literally what this is again you go to instruments it's a free vst Go to orchestral and string solo. Now, I want it to sound like this. But I didn't like how fast it was. So I pitched it up. First thing I put in was again halftime, but you can use gross beat. Give it this sound. Next was the delay. And finally a reverb. Just turn the dry down so that it sits in the background. Last but not least, I added this bell to go with it. Take the effects off. standard bells that comes with expand let me find the exact one for you guys here it is woodpecker bells now the effects i added for this 
who are a gross beat. Just a side chain. So that sounds like this. What it does is basically just fades it in. It normally just does one, but I add another one here and I just turn the uh, wet level down a bit. So that sounds like this. And then I added a reverb. After what I did, as I went to Edison, bounced out the audio, so I got this. I essentially laid the pattern down. Now I don't have it anymore, but essentially what it was was this. Let me find it. Just give me one sec. Okay, this is the pattern that I had. Then we just do the strings. Then we do the bell. Then. All right, so we need that Travis feeling. So once I bounce it in, let me just add this here. Uh, let's go here. All right. So once I bounced it out into the playlist, I had this, right? Which is essentially just the bounced out version of this. Then what I did is I wanted it to sound slower, grimier, a little bit darker. So I pitched it down by six, like this. I really like that. But I wanted it to have that slower, lazy feeling. So I put it on track four, just control L to send it to a mixer track. Now I'll go through the effects one by one. So again, you can just use gross beat. I used halftime and it sounds like this now. Now that's really muddy. So what I did here, put it on stretch, put the pitch, uh, move this up to 12, put it all the way and you get this. Just wanted the muddy frequencies out, so I cut it with an EQ. Now to get a dark Travis feeling, you want a bit, you want to put a little bit of fast distortion on it, and that sounds like this. So I were to put a max bit, just a little bit, just want a little bit, and then reverb over here. And that's how I got it, like that. If you guys want to hear what this sounds like in the context of a track. We also got demo vocals all the way here. Um, don't make fun of me. It's just like my best Travis Scott impersonation. Just make sure my auto tune's on so I don't get exposed right now. All right, so I'm gonna play it to like 33 and then uh, I'll get out of here. See you guys next time. Tonic Productions. Function. I ain't in the mood.